Hey everyone, in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make a lead inspired by Claude Von Stroke's Who's Afraid of Detroit on the ASM Hydrosynth, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So let's get into it. Let's go over to patches and let's just choose an empty patch. Now we've got... So I'm gonna take inspiration from someone that said that I talk too much and I don't let enough music play. So I'm gonna uh, just be controlling the volume as we go through, but I'm gonna try and keep it running the whole time. So let's... So we've just initialized the patch and we just have a simple sawtooth going now. So let's head over to the voicing section and we're going to change it to mono low and we want to go down a page and we're going to turn the glide on. We'll increase the glide time, you can hear it. About 50 there. And I think that's pretty much it for this. So let's go over to the first oscillator. Everything looks good, but we're going to change this to a saw. And you can already hear it's kind of getting a little bit closer there. Next, we're going to head over to oscillator 2. Make sure that's all good. We're going to change it to a square. Semis we're going to leave, and then synths we're going to just detune it just a little bit. That will give us a little bit more of a thicker sound. From there, obviously we can't hear that second oscillator yet, so we'll go to mixer, and then we'll increase this to about 50%. You can hear like a little bit of a chorusing sound going on there. Next, we'll want to go over to the envelopes and start shaping the envelopes for both the amp, which is effectively the volume, and the filter. So first up, we'll go to the amp, amp envelope, and then let's increase just a little bit of the attack so we don't get any clicks at the start. Decay, we're going to increase to just over 600. Sustain, we're going to drop it down a little bit to about 78 there, 79, 70, 67.9 rather. And the release will increase that a little bit. 72 milliseconds, and you can hear it smooths out the sound a little bit there. From there we'll go and we're gonna shape the, the filter envelope. So we'll select the envelope one. And again, we don't want any attacks, we don't want any clicks on the attack. On the decay, we're gonna go up to, oh, it's a bit far there, 304. Sustain, we're gonna pull it down. We want a nice sort of a plucky sort of sound. So 11 for that, and then the release, we still want a little bit kick it off there, so. 300, sounds good. From there we want to go and select the filter. And this is where we can shape the filter a little bit. Let's change the filter type here. To FAT24. Envelope amount is the amount of this envelope one that's applied to the filter. So it opens and closes that, that cutoff. So let's increase that. To 40. We've got 40.1, that's good enough. And then the cutoff, we're going to pull that down to about 35. You can hear it's nice and plucky now. So we've got that. Let's go down a page. 
confirmed that we've got our filters in series. So that means it's going to go through filter one and then through filter two. The other bits that we need to look at is key tracking. We can pull that down a little bit. Increase that a little bit more. And that sounds pretty good there. One thing that I did is I, when I was making this patch, I had a key tracking set to a little bit more and then I come along to filter two and I noticed it was a little bit bright in sections. So then I just use the filter two and then we can just do the cutoff. So make it all the way to low pass. Go. This is without anything, it's fully open the filter and we just pull this back a little bit. And you can hear it's pretty close. The big thing that makes this sound is the effects. So let's have a look at the effects now. Oh, one last thing, we're going to want to add a little bit of drive. Not too much, so if I go all the way... Just pull it back. Just a little bit of the drive to kind of give it a bit more of a boost. And then from there we're going to look at the chorus and the delay. So we'll go post effects for the chorus. And then we'll... We've got the chorus selected here. We've got dry weight to 50 so we're going to increase that all the way all the way to 100 so we're getting that 100% chorus sound rate we're going to increase 74 there and depth just increase that a little bit to just under 37 now we go over to the delay and then we, we've got the basic set for the dry wet we want it set to 45 and you can hear that has a long it's a long delay time and a, the big tail going on there so let's go to the time and then pull that back We want kind of a slapback style, sort of, with the with the um, delay there, and then the feedback. We're gonna seventy six, and I think that everything else is pretty good there. So we'll increase that sound again. So I think that's about it. As I was saying, this sound will get you pretty close, but there's some definite work there. You can hear some of the pitching of some of the notes within Claude Von Stroke's track. We didn't sort of do too much in that in, in ours, but the majority of the sound design is there. And we got to explore some other different features, like using the delay as a slapback to kind of give more of a chorusy sound to it. Again, all of these techniques will transfer over to if you're using uh, a plug-in or another hardware synth. You just want to make sure that you do have the chorus, the delay, a couple of oscillators and ability to use features like the glide and whatnot. So at the end of the day, hopefully I've inspired you to create something. And if you want to check out anything else that I've got, you can head to my page or just click on one of the videos above my head. And until next time, See you later.